Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Good morning guys from day three in Aussie land and we're very excited because Johnny here has finally joined us. For the last couple of nights we've been missing him and he's going to be <laughs> sharing with us all around the Gold Coast area today. So super excited to check this place out. And we're starting out with nothing better than a famous Australian breakfast. So John, what's, what's the big thing about well, Australian we're, breakfast? We're at Cafe Diva. It's like up on top of Diva. Australian breakfast um, is probably the most Australian like meal that we have because uh, since uh, Australia really started, the uh, we we haven't really developed much of like a, a real culinary culture. But there's one thing we've really dialed in, and that's breakfast. Australians go out and they meet up for breakfast really, really, really regularly. Um, it's like one of our favorite things to do on a Saturday morning. So we're out here at Diva, and we're gonna have a really nice breakfast and enjoy the view. And yeah, yeah, yeah. eggs Benny's probably our, our big one. But smashed avocado on toast, um, sautéed mushrooms, that kind of thing. It's kind of kind of gourmet, but, but it's, yeah, it's it's really delicious. And literally, it looks a little expensive, but you get a lot for your bang bang for your Absolutely. Yum. Cannot wait to get these meals. <laughs> we all just got our food. Super excited. I got the uh, bacon, egg, and cheese Sammy here. So it looks so delicious. John, what'd you get? Eggs Benedict <laughs> with salmon mm -hmm. um, and uh, some uh, roast tomato. The eggs Benedict as well, but I got mine with bacon. Mm -mm. All right, guys, so we just finished a delicious Australian breakfast. Honestly, it lived up to its name, and it was so good. That right. got us ready for the day. So what the rest of the day is going to be looking like is we're heading to the sanctuary. Yeah, we're going to go to the Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary. It's just down the road. It's not too far. A couple of headlands down, and uh, we're going to go check out some Australian wildlife, kangaroos, mm -hmm. and, and maybe see a crocodile, and uh, yeah, maybe see a koala nice, nice and close. <laughs> and we're in, we're in such a unique place right now. If you're wondering what's behind us, we're actually literally on the state line. So right now I'm in Queensland. I take a couple steps back here right around this corner. And now I'm over here in New South Wales. So pretty Welcome cool to, to be. Wales. Yeah, I think we literally just changed an hour time zone too when yeah. we walked past, right? New South Wales, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's an hour, it's daylight savings. So, so uh, New, New South Wales is an hour ahead of Queensland. Uh, but Queensland's better. Yeah. Because it's Queensland. And I'm a Queenslander. <laughs> 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 So guys, as you know, Australia is going through a really tough time right now with the bushfires. Before we show you the sanctuary and all of the incredible wildlife that Australia has, we wanted to tell you guys about a way that you can support Australia in fighting these fires. Yeah, so at the time of recording this video is actually a couple weeks earlier than when we're actually posting this in January. and so. We are now realizing, you know, as these fires continue to get larger and larger, how can we do our part? Obviously, we're not Australian, but this is a huge cause that we support, and we really want to save all the animals, the firefighters. There's quite a few people that have, you know, lost their lives, and so it's really tragic. And so Chelsea and I were talking like, hey, you know, we're posting all this stuff about Australia. How can we maybe get some of our friends that watch our videos, some of our followers and subscribers to go ahead and join in and help the cause? And in every little way, it really counts and it means a lot. And so we set up a donation fund via Facebook. So we set the goal for our fundraiser around $5,000. But if we can raise more than that, amazing. If we can't raise that much, well, we're doing our best and working with you guys to see what we can do. The donation fund is to the rural New South Wales firefighters. And a lot of these firefighters, or I think most of the firefighters are actually volunteering their lives, putting their lives at risk to put out these fires, save all these animals. And so uh, we would highly recommend you guys to go ahead and donate, even if it's just a couple bucks to this fund, and it'll really go a long ways to help put out these fires and cure this tragedy. But um, for now, guys, uh, I'll put a link in the description below, and then let's go ahead and show you this day, checking out the beautiful sanctuary. Yeah. 
So we just got to the Columban Wildlife Sanctuary, which is, from what we understand, it's kind of like a zoo. We'll obviously learn more about it once we get inside, but they have koalas, some kangaroos it sounds like. So we're gonna see kind of our first Australian, authentic Australian wildlife. So we're really excited to check it out and show you guys what it's all about. So guys, a little bit more about this place is it costs about 40 Australian dollars per person. And that gives you basically general access to the whole sanctuary. Now you can pay a little bit extra for other experiences, like holding koalas and doing some other things like that. But we ended up booking our stuff a little bit too late, so everything was sold out, or it had already happened today, because it is about 2:24 p.m. So it's you know it's almost the end of the day. I think this place closes at 5 p.m., and so most of this stuff has already happened, or is happening at the moment. So either way, though, we're really excited just to walk around and see, as Chelsea said, like the total Australian experience, all of these animals that. Coming from America, at least, we never see any of these unless we go to like a U.S. zoo. So it'll be cool to see these here. By the way, guys, if you look behind me, it is about $49 to get in if you buy it at the door. So buy it online, and that's where you'll get the price for $40 Australian dollars. Our first stop right when we walked in are the koalas right here, but we're being a little quiet because they're passed out right now. Getting a little daytime siesta in here. They know how to live the good life. Look how cute they are. So guys, these are like the cutest little things ever. I would literally want a koala as a pet now after seeing these little guys sleep, but I was like, they're all passed out except for just a little baby one. And I'm like, how long do these little creatures sleep for? They sleep for up to 20 hours per day because their digestive system just takes that much energy out of them. So they need to sleep as much as possible. So it's pretty crazy, but Chelsea probably loves them because she loves to sleep. So this is her spirit animal, I think. <laughs> so we just heard something growling over here. So we're gonna check it out. Koala. He's Morton, or you can call him Morty. And apparently he's nine and a grumpy old koala. So he must need his own pen. Troublemaker of the group, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we can't seem to get away from all things koala. They're so cute. I could just sit here and or stand here and watch them all day. But they also have like a little koala pantry and facts about what they eat and how they digest their food, etc. etc. And fun fact, the word koala apparently actually means no drink because they absorb most of their water from the gum leaves they eat, so they don't really need to drink any water. So that's pretty cool. Time to see some birds. So these first ones we came across are these rainbow lorikeets, and they're super cool because their tongues have like a hair-like uh, structure on them, which makes them able to like remove the nectar from fruit. So it's pretty fascinating. We're watching them eat right now. Another of these really cool birds are the scaly-breasted lorikeets, which are actually a bright fluorescent lime green pretty much all over their bodies. So a cool fact about them is that they resemble the color of the flower that they eat, so they're pretty much invisible to predators when they're feeding. Hey, devil! Kangaroos! We've got Pelican Point right here. So it's a nice like pond that you can go ahead and watch the pelicans swim in nature. So if you hear this in the background, it's actually part of an Aboriginal show that they do. So they do like a, a story and dance show. So we're gonna go check it out for a couple minutes. And then we're gonna go check out the kangaroos. Huh? So stay tuned. Seeing the Aboriginal dances were pretty cool. Glad we stopped by to see because it kind of gives you like a taste into, I guess about 60,000 years ago is some of the first scientific findings of remains back then. So pretty cool to like see some of their culture here and to see how much Australia still respects and uh, showcases their, their really cool cultures and dances and everything. All right, we're about to see a couple of joeys. What do you think that, Jesse? 
am so excited for this. The koalas were already amazing. And now we're about to see and maybe even touch and feed kangaroos. He's got a joey inside of his pouch. Oh, did he pull him out of the joey pouch? <coughs> you giving him a bath alive? Look at this guy. This, look at this thing. That is a true bird right there. Sometimes you wonder how this guy evolved through evolution. Like this guy, long neck, big body, massive legs. It's a good looking fellow. This one's got a baby in it too. What do you think of these joeys, Chelsea? I think they're so cool and cute. Look, this one's got a little baby in its pouch too. Joey Leomos. Look at how thin those arms are right there. That's just tiny, tiny. It's literally bone and skin. We've got the joeys. Got the joeys right behind us. Just caught him drinking some water, sneaking up behind him. This is Animal Planet right here, ladies and gentlemen. Animal Planet. No. He doesn't seem like he's looking to hang out right now. We got a joey right here, guys. That's a beautiful joey, but I can't tell if I'm able to pet him or if he's in fight mode. But either way, he is cool. I'm about to try to pet this little guy. Big ones are too intimidating. We don't have any food, so I'm gonna take my chances with this little guy. And we were told to kind of crouch down, or well, there's a sign that kind of gives you tips to kind of crouch down to their level, not to run from them, because it scares them, it frightens them. We also learned from John, who learned the hard way, that if they kind of growl at you, just leave them alone, which I think is typical with most animals that growl or make some kind of grunting noise at you. But so I'm gonna take my chance. Making friends with a Joey. They also say not to touch their heads. I don't know why, but. That's a turkey coming after me. Little palazzo? So now it's time to see the crocs. The crocodiles of Australia. See that guy right back there? You don't want to mess with him. Since we walked in, he's had his mouth just waiting to slay something. We are not coming into contact with freshwater crocodiles. They mostly feed at night, but sometimes they come out during the day for a swim. Done. 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 Whoa. Now you do not want to mess with that guy. What is he, probably like 15 feet in length? That little lizard right down there better watch out. He looks like a good little snack ski. Seeing those crocs were pretty cool. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can go ahead and come at different times during the day to actually pay you can actually feed that massive 15 foot estimation crocodile, which like must be a total thrill because he looked hungry while he was asleep, like three feet underwater. Pretty intimidating looking at that guy. Now we're walking through like this area where it looks like you can do a rope course. So. There's so many things you can do here. I'm having so much fun here. Like this place is so cool. It's like the total Aussie experience and it's perfect that we're doing it on like day three because we can just see like kangaroos, koalas, like all those things you always hear about and want to see in uh, Australia. So it's pretty cool to be here. Looks like Johnny made some friends here. Yeah. Uh, this is Laurie. I'm Laurie. <laughs> and Laurie. <laughs> All right guys, so that wraps up this video here at the Cumberland Wildlife Sanctuary. It is such a cool place. We only had a couple hours. You could definitely spend half a day, even a full day here. They have restaurants, they have a little water park for kids. There's so much to see and do. It's super interactive. Definitely, if you are in the Gold Coast area, you have to, even if it's a little bit out of your way, come check this place out. It's so cool and I wish we had more time. Yeah, so amazing guys. Like, this has been one of the highlights of the trip already because there's just like such a feeling of, wow, I'm in Australia when you see all of these different types of animals that you can only find on this massive island slash continent. So, so much fun. Can't wait to see these things in real life too. But the sanctuary was a good way to kind of get comfortable around them. So really loved it. And uh, yeah, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. We'll have so many more videos coming out in Aussie land that we're so excited to share with you guys. And hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss them. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.